So what is a slope? And what is grade? Oh, what is gradient? Come on. And what is camber? Actually, there are some misunderstandings and I have found many engineering and math students do not understand about the term slope, grade, gradient and camber. And shortly I can say the slope, grade, gradient and camber are just the same thing called slope. Now what is slope? The slope is just a number that tells how steeply a line goes up or down. And to describe how steep a line goes up or down, we will have to mention the vertical and horizontal change of a line. That's why the slope is also known by the rise and run ratio, in which run is the horizontal distance and rise is the vertical distance. If the line is perfectly level, it does not go up or down at all. This means the slope is zero. Further, if a line is making an angle with horizontal or level line, this means the line does have vertical and horizontal change makes the line sloopy. And there are four common ways to describe the steepness of a line, road you can say, railway line, and mountain etc. One is by the rise and run ratio, other is by the run and rise ratio. This is actually a wrong way mathematically, however, it works practically no problem the third way is by slope in percentage and the fourth way is by the angle between 0 and 90 degrees for example let's take an example of rise and run ratio and let's say if the slope is 1 ratio 1 what does 1 ratio 1 means that means if you go up by 1 meter the line goes to the right by 1 meter and there is actually nothing special about meter. If you go one feet up, the line goes one feet to the right. If you go one mile up, the line goes one mile to the right and so on. If you draw this line, you'll find it goes up at 45 degrees. And similarly, if the slope is one ratio 10, that means if you go up by one meter, the line goes to the right by 10 meters. And again, there is nothing special about meter. If you go one feet up, the line goes 10 feet to the right. If you go one mile up, the line goes 10 miles to the right. That's the basic concept of rise over run ratio. And the other way of slope representation is the percentage method. You may have seen or heard about the slope of mountain or the road gradient with the term percentage. The formula per which is rise over run times 100, which could also be expressed as the tangent of an angle of inclination times 100. This percentage slope is used as a unit of slope in Asian as well as European countries. Still, however, in the US, this percentage slope is the most commonly used unit for communicating slopes in transportation, serving, and construction. For example, if you take the rise and run up a line as 1 and 5, this means the slope is 20%. Because if you multiply 1 over 5, which is of course the rise and run of the slope with 100, of course we get 20% slope. And commonly the percentage in notation is done specially for grades and gradient. Also, if the slope is given in form of percentage, of course, you can convert the percentage slope into rise and run ratio. Say how? For example, if the given road camber is 2%, then we can convert it into rise and run ratio by dividing it by 100. So if you divide 2% slope by 100, you get 1 over PEPD or 1 ratio PEPD slope. So the rise is 1 and the run is PEPD units. And another way of slope annotation is the run or rise. Remember not rise or run, it's run or rise. Let's say if a line does have slope of 2 ratio 1, what does this mean? That means if you go up by 1 meter, the line goes to the right by 2 meters. In this way of slope annotation, it's important to mention which part of the ratio is run and which part of the ratio is rise. That's why I have put H and V in that ratio, where H represents the horizontal unit and of course the V is for the vertical. 
Sometimes the slope is described in term of an angle like 45 degree slope, 30 degree slope, 20 degree slope, etc. So what does it mean? Let's take an example of course. Suppose if a staircase is making an angle of 26.5 degrees. This means the slope of staircase is 6 inches or 12 inches or 1 inches or 2 inches. If you have rise or run in notation. And also you can say the rise and run of the stair steps are 6 inches and 12 inches of course. But how to make sure, I mean how to convert the slope which is in palm up in angle into rise or run ratio. For this let's convert the palming slope into rise or run in percentage slope. Let's say if the slope is 36.87 degrees. In the solution to convert 36.87 degrees slope into rise or run ratio just take the tangent of 36.87 degrees using your calculator. You will get an answer equals 3 ratio 4 where 3 is the vertical and 4 represents the horizontal of the slope. And multiply 3 ratio 4 with 100 to have the slope in percentage which is of course 75% slope. And let's have one final example. The terms of an example are just like in this palm. Calculate the slope of the given mountain from the given data. In the solution, if you see the height and breadth between those two points are known. So the slope between those two points or the slope of the mountain should be the height of mountain divided by the horizontal distance between those two points. So we can get of course 3 ratio 8 or 37.5% is the slope of the mountain and it's in a part of day. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.